Hello everyone, welcome to some better better plays. Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy Episode 16. It's been a little while. I've been slacking. I'll endeavor to no longer be slacking. At least for the foreseeable future, which, you know, as far as being a seer goes, um, I can't see very far into the future. I can usually see things coming, like, a few seconds in advance, though, so... I mean, that's enough to scam, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars out of people, I suppose. Thanks for that. But that's good. Oh yeah, I want to see what you look like now. The Ancient Bandicoot. Not as pretty as I was hoping, honestly. I want to see some ancient Coco Bandicoots. That's what I want to see. I want to see a primitive cave lady with, like, a rock tablet that she writes equations on. You know, like one of those Ten Commandment tablets. Only smaller, obviously. You can't really, you know, underarm that shit. But, it, you know, it's whatever. Do whatever. Do whatever. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. It seems like our spinning has gotten worse as the, the years have gone on, because those ancient bandicoots, they go for a while. Let's see, this dinosaur... is not very cute. Which is, uh, it's sad, you know? They, the dinosaurs were definitely cuter in the original. That's fine. I don't want to just, like, talk about it. You know, the original, always, excuse me. Where's your friggin... Where's your charge attack? Why don't you have one? Maybe I'm thinking of, like, Jack and Daxter. I might be. In Jack 3, those, uh... Whatever they're called, they're like little ostrich roadrunner kind of things. You can press square to, like, do a charge attack with them. Like a beak bite. I might be thinking of that. I could have sworn you could do that with the dinosaur, though. Because, like, if you can't attack with him, how's he supposed to eat? You know? How is he supposed to grow into a strong young thing? If he's got no way to... Oh, yeah, we have double jump. Totally forgot about that. Alright, that's not a box. Alright, let's do this. This is kind of making me want to play Crash Wrath of Cortex. Like, that game had its flaws, but there were parts of it that I really liked. I really liked the death routes in it. They were, like, they were hard. They were, they were a good amount of difficulty. For some... How, how are you not gonna let me double jump and then body slam? That's, like, a fundamental thing. Like, you can't do it. I just tried to do it. Alright, well, that's fine. Again, this was a two-gem ordeal. But one of the platforms was a color gem platform. We should be able to get the regular gem. Unless this is one of those levels where it's like... You know, there, that's what I didn't like in Crash 2, is that there were levels you had to do the death route or the color gem platform and, like, then go backwards through it and do the rest of the level if you wanted the gem. I mean, what an ordeal. Like, you're asking so much of me. I did get the Crash 2 Platinum, though. Recently, so. I guess it was worth it. 82 of 112? Yeah, this is definitely, yeah. You gotta have that color gem, and you gotta go back. Unless just at the end it drops you off where you were. You know, I mean, I'm a fan of, like, a convoluted sort of system to get rewards. I like having to work for it, just not in that way, necessarily. Oh, great. 
Great. Let's do it. At least there's only two of these levels. I'm kind of glad they took a uh, an approach where it was like, you know, two maximum per new type of thing, just in case people hate it. But you know how underwater levels go anyway. They got a stigma attached to them. I'm trying to think of a good underwater level. I feel like I've had this conversation before with you. You specifically, yes, I'm talking to you. You know who you are. That's bullshit. Just kill me. Thanks for that, you disgusting sharks. By the way, they don't make that sound anymore. They're... That was one of my favorite things. Do you have to shoot all the nitros? I feel like there was a level where uh, there were nitros, but there's not a nitro box breaker, and I think this might be it. So you had to destroy, get, do away with the nitros in other ways. Maybe I'm just like making that up, and I'm therefore about to make this harder on myself, but I feel like it's a chance. It's something they could do. Like, those are the kinds of gems that I really like, is when there's... Like that Turtle Woods gem from Crash 2, where you get the gem by breaking none of the boxes. That's so cool. I love that. Or like those time trials on the air crash levels, those are fine as well. Alright, I absolutely hate these things. Okay, I can't leave you alive, that would just bother me. Okay. Water control in this game is a bit smoother. In a way that's actually like kind of more stiff, if that makes sense. Like, originally, it's it's more stilted movement. Like, you... Like, okay, I'll, I'll explain it. If I am, like, going, I'm moving, right? I stop moving. I've, I've let off the directional button long before I actually come to a halt. It didn't used to be... You used to stop, like, in your tracks. So it's like, I'm kind of not liking that you don't anymore. I understand that physically it makes sense that way, but... Shit! Okay. Alright, I know how this works. Move the camera up, please. I'm not about to get fucked because of that. Alright, I'm st based on where those nitros are, I'm starting to think that I made up the whole, like, break them without thing. Jesus Christ. Okay. Because I can't now, like, turn around and come back down here. Unless I totally can. Nah, it would break. Let's forget about it. Okay, but here you have to be kind of careful. Right? Because if we want to activate that, uh... Invisible block... I can't be shooting rockets willy-nilly, because there's a... It's one of those changing ones you have to shoot at the right time. So I can't just, like, preemptively break it. Fuck! It's already done. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, I guess it's not one of those. Have they, did they change this level? I could have sworn. Maybe I just, I just, maybe I just have like a way worse memory than I think. 
you know? You can never trust your own brain. I mean, if brain games has taught me anything, it's that your brain is pretty much constantly lying to you at all times. So... And it's like telling your other senses to lie as well. Dude, I'm getting so mad. The fish needs to stop traveling on autopilot. These underwater controls are the jankiest shit ever. <sighs> you know, say what you will about Wrath of Cortex, but those underwater level machines were responsive. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm thinking of Wrath of Cortex when I'm talking about like this Nitro deal. Dude, what do you have to do to stop doing that? Also, I, I stopped, I, st I pressed the right directional button a long time before I actually went into this tube and it would not turn around. If I carry his visions, you have an actual problem on your hands with these controls. Go, you bitch! Okay. Now we gotta go back. <sighs> this is this game's issue now, then. Remember a couple, a couple episodes ago, I was talking about how every game had its, like, main problem. And I'm gonna go out on a limb and say underwater controls are the problem for Crash Warped. Yeah, just break that. Because, like, these whirlpools are, like, sucking me in a little bit, even when they're not active. That is some garbage. At least if they remastered Spyro, there's pretty much nothing you can screw up when it comes to controls. There's never been a need for super accurate platforming or responsive mechanics. You know, you just kind of glide around and flame people, you know what I mean? Like what I'm saying, you 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 really can't screw up a, a, a Spyro Remaster. There's no way that you could do it bad. In my mind. Of course I say that and then like, you know, they'll try and challenge me on it. They'll be like, oh yeah, well watch this, hold my beer! Ah, it's nitros! At least they were nice enough to put a checkpoint in here. To me, the only thing they could do uh, to make Spyro Remastered bad is remaster the characters and make them ugly. I'm trying to get, like, you know, for one, if they made Spyro Skylanders Spyro, fuck that. I'm not buying the trilogy. I'm not buying the remaster if they make him that disgusting, mutated monster that he's become. Oh, I thought I was in the clear. And I turned around and it went too far. Anybody want, let, you know, like, let's say the Spyro remaster is happening, because people have been talking about it, and the success of this remaster, which it is undeniably successful, in terms of sales, is, um, 
and just in terms of being fun. You know, I have my gripes with it, but I'm st it's still a super fun time. And you cannot put these nitros in the same spot they were in in Crash Warped, but change the controls so that it is, like, impossible to get through them now. Just saying. But yeah, let's say they do the Spiral Remaster. Who wants to do, like, betting pools on which characters look atrocious? Who would you say? Because for this remaster... Yeah, just go. Just go! You know, when they showed when they showed those first trailers for Crash, and he looks a little better now. You know, when those the first time they revealed remastered Crash, he wasn't like done being drawn yet. They ironed out some kinks. Also, bullshit. I know that I would have been hit by those nitros, but they didn't hit me yet. I was tilting and I did not touch them. I would have touched them when I was done tilting because my legs would have come up and hit them. But learn to draw a hitbox. That has been, like, your biggest problem with this series. There you go. No! I'm gonna be stuck here for years, aren't I? No! See, all I was waiting for was the mask. That's all we needed. If I had to guess to say who they're going to make look disgusting, I'd say Ripto. And definitely, um, the Enchantress from Spyro 3, the main villain there. Absolutely. Ooh, we actually just made it without the mask. See, all we needed was some liquid courage. Didn't even have to make use of it. All, you know, if I had to guess who they're gonna make look banging, I'd say Bianca from uh, Spyro 3. I think she's gonna be banging AF. At least I hope so. It would be a real disappointment if she was not banging AF. Oh my god! Our Crash 3's first set of dick and balls. I'm loving it. I think they'll- I bet they'll make Alora from Spyro 2. I bet they'll make her just a fugly monster. <laughs> the goat chick? Like, there's no way that she looks anything correct. I bet Hunter will look janky too. Yeah, okay. But those are pretty much all the characters that I care about what they look like. High time! But this is a game for children. So, you pesky little rats aren't going to back off, eh? Just you continue to gather crystals and see what I do. They could have just given him Jafar's voice. It would have worked. Street rat! Street Bandicoot! Not that that's his voice, but you know. Agrabah is full of holes for rats to hide in. Alright, I am much less confident in the hitbox of those uh, fire pits now. They look less defined. Like, I can't tell where it is by looking, I mean. Oh, okay! This just became something I hate. Let's see that again, shall we? Oh, we're, we were on top of it that time. What the hell happened? 
I was on it and then I just went through it. that right okay good it's best to find that stuff out now for time trials oh these scorpions they're faster they're also more disgusting looking We haven't died yet, right? I feel like I would have remembered. Because I need to get that purple gem. I think it's a death. Somebody said, uh, somebody reminded me that to get the yellow gem, you need 10 relics, because it's in that secret uh, warp room. By the way, I still think that when you land, you should instantly be able to crouch instead of having to do your animation. Uh, it, it's kind of, the mechanics are kind of weird there. Sometimes it does it, but sometimes it does not. That's how you take care of that. For the most part, for me, double jump's actually more of a curse than a blessing. Because a lot of times I'll be, like, trying to bounce off a thing, and then I'll press X a little bit early, and it'll do a double jump instead of increasing my jump. And that's never helpful for anybody. I'm so upset. I know that's my fault, but... Yeah. Here's the death route. Alright, I like him for the most part. That's good. I'll just increase my concentration level a little bit as this is an important moment. I don't need to be dying a bunch of times. You know what I'm saying? Oh man, if I thought Crash uh, 2's time trials were going to be super reliant on the power-ups, I can only imagine. By the way, we are not done. There were boxes here, weren't there? Do I recall there being boxes? One of these days I'm going to have to just pay attention to what I'm doing. I feel like there were boxes, which is why we need to go back, so that I can get a crystal. Oh, we already have the crystal. Well, so I can get the regular gem also. Let's go two for two on dick and balls, huh? what do you say? Please take me back. I would like to go back. What do I need to do to activate you? But weren't there boxes? Uh, don't tell me I'd have to do like the regular whole level and then go back and get the death route and fin finish it off that way. Sounds like the biggest hassle of all time. I guess I can be pleased with the color gem and a crystal for now. Two purple uh, instances of jewelry. <laughs> Yum.
I wonder if in the remaster they make the baby dragons from Year of the Dragon cute. Instead of, like, you know. I mean, I hate babies. That is not, you know, just humans. I hate baby dragons as well, apparently. I like kittens, of course. But, you know, there's a cutoff period with any animal. Like, no animal is cute right when it's born. You gotta give it some time. Kittens are cute after, like, a few weeks. Road crash. Alright. Let's get that gem. I'm trying to knock two episodes out before I start streaming, and it's 11.15 right now. So after this level, I'll probably end this episode. Alright. You know what they could have done to be dicks? Is if, uh... Or, like, is to prevent you from just, like, going super slow to get boxes. If, uh, if all the other drivers finish the race, it would just end the level for you. That would be a dick move. But kind of, it, you know, it would be kind of, like, good. It would be good. So you can't just scum it. Because nobody's, like, doing this and being like, oh yeah, I'm hella good at this game. Like, oh yeah, this is fair play. Like, you're in denial if you actually think that. You're gonna say this isn't scummy at all? Come on now. Get at least 8th place in all the boxes. You can't- you wouldn't even be able to manage that? Of course I say that, I could put my money where my mouth is. But I'd rather not. Well, okay, fine, here we go. 8th place then. I'm gonna get 8th place in all the boxes. You watch. You watch and learn. You can do it. Ah! I know there's one of them where you need to not go on the jump, and the boxes are underneath the jump. I thought that was it. I was mistaken. Does anyone ever actually use the break button in this? I mean, maybe that's how you get really good times, you get good at it. But... It seems... Oh! Come on! Come on! And there, you were just not allowed to go backwards. God damn it. Like, what I do to make those turns is just, like, I'm going as fast as I could I do, but then I just let off X, and then I turn. That's all you gotta do. And yeah, Crash, you failed, because you were too busy talking about dumb shit. Accelerate just- I want to nail that timing. Let's try to accelerate maximum. I did it just before the green light. I guess they didn't like that. Oh, you almost didn't let me get that. That would have been another big move. Oh, hey, those things actually slow you down now. Dude, come on. Why am I going so fast? I'm trying to go slow and I'm in sixth place. I guess I gotta break more. 
I'm letting off X like all the time. I'm I'm pressing X. I'm not holding it. I'm pressing it throughout the whole race. Let's do it again. You can see how the, uh, you know, the music evolves through the series. Because it starts off, like, mostly tribal with the xylophone and whatnot. But then as you get more into the futuristic side of Crash, they start adding electric guitar, stuff like that. And it becomes a more modern uh, soundtrack. And it fits, you know? They meld the two genres together in ways that make sense. Okay, I, I'm, I had to break for such a long time to get to a stop. Imagine getting all the boxes at full speed. If you had to come in first to get all the boxes or to get the gem, fuck that. I would never do it. Too much of a hassle. I'd miss like the same one every time. Because I never learn. I don't learn from my mistakes. I just make them over and over again. Is this the one? No. Alright, this is the box I missed last time somehow. Okay, that side. Don't fuck with me, yes, okay. And I guess when the, when they're in a row like that, right after the speed boost, it's mm, it's better to get the speed boost because it more get. There's a hole that I was not looking at because it more guarantee you. Oh, that almost would have pissed me off. Out of my face, eighth place or seventh place. There's the gem. Told you I could do it. I talk about a Spyro remaster, the more I want it. I previously just gave it up as a thing that's, you know, it's a pipe dream, but... It makes marketable sense to make one now. You gotta ride the heels of your uh, counterpart. Don't do it when everybody's forgotten about it. But that's gonna do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you can like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.